is another one of those videos that is very, very big and very, very nerve-wracking. Hi, it's Spooky Ghost Film, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm here again with another personal video. Today, I'm going to talk about the insanity, which was my mind-breaking in 2022. I've had some revisiting of some of the things I was saying during my big psychotic mental break and I came across some things that kind of lead more into the spirituality realm so now I'm looking at everything like what did I really experience and I'm going to be talking about that and then in the second part of this video I am going to be reacting to my breakup vlog that is Still up to this day I don't talk about it a lot because I know I wasn't really mentally there I was really switchy we were just becoming aware that we were a system and it was a really weird time in our life the whole vlog takes place in front of my old apartment with my ex um, I was locked outside because I couldn't get in and um, I'm going to talk about all those events and then we're going to look at that and it's going to be crazy because we have become, we have come so far. I thought, I felt really called to make this video today because we are around the anniversary of an event that happened last year where he did try to hoover me back in and he just like really hypersexualized me, just kept asking for pics and that kind of thing and it made me realize that he doesn't really value me as a person and um, I went through the heartbreak all over again and then this year I've been forced to look at the whole family trauma of everything with that kind of stuff that was going on and I never got time to really process all that I truly have grown and gotten myself out of um, how much I've grown as a person with healing from that relationship and today I was like yeah we're gonna we're gonna look back and we're going to talk about this stuff but we're gonna be raw and open now there was a moment where I turned on the camera and I was like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and there was a moment even before that where I just was sitting here like because I feel the big energy shift in the air I felt spiritually called to do this I feel like so much is shifting for me all at once lately and I'm overwhelmed but every time I get called to make a video like this I feel the need that I have to go for it just some things opening up about some things yeah it's gonna make me look a little insane and um, I've just come to realize that I have a super unique brain and so that's okay. in 2022 I was continuing my spirituality journey that I started in 2021 I had gotten in to witchcraft and tarot reading and um, the law of attraction and I was learning all these things and I was becoming hyper aware that I myself was a very spiritual being we all are we all are some of us are just more tapped into others or some of us just don't ever choose to tap into that really and it was helping me come to a new understanding of some of the things that caused me daily anxiety some of the things that um, I always viewed as I'm insane. I started to realize that I was psychic. I started to um, realize that I was very clear audience. I get music um, messages through music a lot of the time. And when I have shuffle on, I would have a lot of messages coming at me at once. I would get these, what I call downloads um, of videos I was supposed to film and this was when I had st first started telling my story and I would get these visions of my dad being very angry and it led to this very paranoid route um, in 2022 this kind of went to for a different role of me the universe was like what the fuck up bitch because <laughs> they started giving me signs that where I was at wasn't truly meant for me um, I had been in therapy for a while um, during this as well and we were always talking about the problems I was having with my ex and we had started talking about how it correlated with the issues with my dad and I realized that I was repeating the same cycles of breakdowns after breakdowns because 
I was not getting treated any differently than the home that I grew up with, with the constant screaming, the walking around on eggshells, the being told I'll never amount to anything, the being pushed to work, but then also blowing up on me when I would, they always said I don't have any common sense. Maybe I don't, maybe I don't. Um, but like blowing up at me when my brain wouldn't understand certain things. I realized I was dating a copy of my dad and that hit the first mind break. Um, now looking back on this, I was like, yeah, I definitely wasn't mentally okay. One of the things that I was having delusional thinking with, because I do have schizophrenia, I'm open, and, I'm open about it on this channel as much as I have I'm actually more of it about that than my um, dissociative identity disorder that I still struggle with. Uh, the first mind break was I convinced myself that my ex was my twin. Um, false twin, long lost twin. I, I don't know what was happening there. And um, because my stepdad's name it starts with a J and his name started with a J, the same name that starts with a J. I'm not gonna put any names here, you know? Um, and it freaked me out because yet yeah, another pattern parallel of someone treating me the same way. And I convinced myself that my dad had ties to him somehow. It was just this weird like, <sighs> um, it's not funny, but I was literally, um, when I was in the hospital, this is where you're like, sometimes you have to laugh at your own self, your own mental health. Um, I literally wrote a note, a divorce letter. We weren't even married. A divorce letter that said, ew, I fricked my twin brother, ew, <laughs> something along um, those lines. But one of the things that made me look back at my brain and the things that I was going through this year, um, this past 2022, wow, 2023, 2022, uh, 2023 didn't feel real. Let's just put that out there. 2023 didn't feel real. Um, 22, 2022, sure. One of the things that made me want to look back on the breakup vlog in the first place, what we're going to be watching after I'm done with this segment of the video, um, was one of the things that I was experiencing in the hospital was uh, I thought this was a delusion, a mind break, but I'm going to have to do a whole video on this topic specifically because I really want to look in the, to, into the history of this woman. I had grabbed a book about the Biltmore estate and how that whole family, the Vanderbilts, plays into American wealth and the um, wealthiest families and all that. And I kept telling doctors, this is about my family. This is about my family. And I got really triggered the other day. Um, I don't remember exactly what triggered it, but I heard the name Cornelia Vanderbilt and I was like, what the hell? And then my mind was like, wait, I was telling people about the Vanderbilts when I was in the hospital, the hell? And I looked her up and no shitting you, I'll put a picture on the screen, died on my birthday in 1976. So now I'm like, I came across the past life. Was I just going through a spiritual awakening? But one of the other things that I was telling everybody is that I was famous and that I had been famous before and that I was part of one of the wealthiest families. But it wasn't just that. I was talking about being a movie director. I was talking about working for Disney and this lady had nothing to do with that. So I'm just like, what was my mind breaking and what was me seeing peeks into the future or the past. And I had, I had been telling everybody that I was a star, that I was famous, that I already had all the money and I already had a house waiting for me. I told them that I had a mansion. I told them all these things, like it was reality. And I was like, wow, my brain was broken. But at the same time, could I? Because I became across the past life that I later looked up that was actually like whoa crazy spot on when i get into the video of that um later on in february y'all are gonna be like the correlations of life and all that it was 
Could I have been seeing something further on down the line? And my brain broke. I was also dealing with being attacked by my ex several times. Um, what you are about to see in the reaction part of this video is me being stuck outside my apartment that I was living with. His family didn't give me the key until a day later. I had tried to stay in a hotel, but my dad only gave me one night in the hotel. Everybody was convinced I was going to go back to my ex, but before escaping the apartment, I was attacked several times. There was a, I was uploading it all on TikTok too. The people that were following me when I had this TikTok, I don't know what y'all were thinking of me, but I was literally uploading everything. Every little breakdown, every little attack that happened. There was a scary TikTok video of him in the doorway and me just trauma breaking down because he was just standing there. Like he was just ready to attack. And there came a point where he had trapped me in the bedroom and was guarding the door and I had to literally physically push him out. And I was afraid to go to the bathroom at all that night because I was afraid if I opened the bathroom door, he would swing in through the other door because there was a door to the bathroom from the bedroom, but then there was the door in the living room. I was so scared. I was so, so scared. And I had barricaded the doors and it was so scary. So now getting into the reaction part of the video, y'all are seeing kind of me after. All so that. I got my laptop right here and I'm going to be putting the actual video on the bottom of the screen so y'all can see it too. And I will also be linking it in the description and putting it on the end screen. Yesterday, but then we went to. Well, I'm just gonna story time of yesterday's we chaos. We were already switching. So the first was the police dropped us off at the airport, and our grandmother was supposed to like buy us a plane ticket to Arizona, where we're headed because we have roommates there. But my father, new shocker, I know. My father uh, ruined that because he got in my grandma's head and was like, "Don't help them. Do not." And that fell through. And then. So, one of the big things that happened during the breakup was my ex and my father ganged up on me. Um, I was trying to go to Arizona at first because I didn't fully trust the guy that was grooming me in California. I didn't fully trust him because he had already been trying to get me away from that relationship while I was in the relationship and it was... Even though, yeah, I cheated on my ex, but it was to the point where I was being abused so much Part of my brain was like, that's the only way out because um, I also have BPD along with everything else wrong with me. So my brain was like, no. Um, and I was super attached. They were kind of my new favorite person and we formed kind of a trauma bond. Not kind of, it was definitely a trauma bond. I was trying to go to Arizona at first to be um, living with somebody that was also a system. That system also fake claimed me later on. Um, this was right before I got diagnosed, by the way. This was. Um, before the hospital stays and everything that led to me getting diagnosed. But I say I'm a system in this video at some point uh, because I have become self-aware. Just being the kind of manipulative father he is, he fucked that up for me but bought me a hotel for one night. So we stayed in a hotel last night. But then he said only for tonight. And then I don't fucking care. This, this, this is how my dad is unfortunately so that happened so then we came back here because we were told that he was gone he is gone we're safe and we're locked out and his mom don't have a key she can't get the key till tomorrow and uh we're, we can't oh, like go to a shelter because we have been homeless before and we have a lot of trauma from that end um i'm finally going to be open about this with youtube i was diagnosed with dissociative identity disorder and if i do certain things that we already have trauma from it can so this is one of the parts where my mind was breaking a little bit um i had convinced myself the future had already happened i knew i was going to get diagnosed because i was switching at a rapid rate and i was so scared of getting fake claimed but i was also switching a lot because of the intensity of the situation so i had already just said i had been diagnosed and this is one of the things that did get me fake claimed by another system. 
make or break the system, and I'm already under so much stress that we've been uh, pretty switchy lately. But right now, I have all my stuff. Just camping outside. Here, and I'm just waiting it out. This makes um, me so uh, sad to look back on. I have my journal, I have my oracle cards, I basically have everything with me. My phone <laughs> has died, so that's a little bit suckish. But we're hanging through there. I was using my YouTube camera. I still have it. I just don't uh, use it when anymore. We get, uh, our funds probably Friday, manifesting that it's Friday. And we're going to be like, wow, we stuck through all that chaos, all those hard moments, and we didn't give up this time. I'm so like is proud of us as like a system because we have been very switchy since yesterday and there have been lots of hard moments panic attacks uh there was a really bad one in the hotel room last night where i'm surprised we didn't get kicked out because we were literally screaming because uh lovely came out they're kind of like the baby they're very um little and since they're like a child they kind of kind of freaked out that we were completely alone but we're sticking through it we're gonna get to Arizona. We're going to move in with her. What family. I didn't say about that breakdown behind the scenes, because I do, I have revisited a lot of this, these memories, was right when people knew that I was single, I had a lot of guys chasing after me. And I had men swoop in my comments and get me on video chat saying that they were gonna comfort me. And there was this older gentleman that, that got on the phone with us and he kept saying does your does what was it blair or was it sun i think it was sun because sun was so rampantly just destructive at this time he was like does sun want to take off their clothes and like it was very sexual but then um because he was an older man our younger selves got terrified and anxious and we had a really bad breakdown because our ex had kind of protected us from these people. We did have moments where we did have guys that um, were older gentlemen that tried to manipulate us or um, did cause these kind of breakdowns. There was one point where we were living in an apartment in Myrtle Beach and there was this older gentleman and he came up to me who was asking, oh, you're okay? And I was just waiting on my ex. I don't remember what he was, what we were doing at the time. I was like, yeah, I'm fine. And my ex saw that he was talking. He was like, he, he came up to him and he was like, can, can you see they don't want to be talked to? And he started calling me a mouse. You're not going to speak up, little mouse? And he kept getting closer and closer to me. And my ex whooped, whooped the crap out of him. So I have always um, attracted that kind of predatory male energy. And it did lead to a really bad, intense breakdown in that hotel room. Me doing my makeup outside. We literally were just making the most out of it. Yeah, I got a tat several times. God, I didn't even realize how bad that looked. Oh my god, my arm looks awful. has really taught me how many people I underestimated how hard this would be to rewatch, but my arm I know he attacked me, but I wasn't really paying attention to any of that kind of stuff back then. People actually actually care about me. Like my social media, my like friends, my whole community, the whole Spooky Ghost fam has literally come together and has been helping me make this happen. They've been sending me cash through Cash App. My GoFundMe is doing really well. Like everything I've ever wanted, that I've ever asked for is coming like through and it's all because of the Spooky Ghost fam. When they so. saw this is something that I did convince myself was reality and this is me being delusional. Um, I'm very self-aware now that I look back on these things. I 
People were not sending me a lot of cash. We got only $80 on the GoFundMe. A lot of people didn't care. Um, on social media, there was a lot of hate going around as well because there were rumors being spread here, rumors being spread there. Um, my exes had his family or somebody looking at the TikTok daily with the attacks and posting my breakdowns and stuff and had several times a cop come on check on me. Um, every time an Amazon package would show up, I would think it was for me because um, I convinced myself that somebody was going to come save me. And, um, yeah. All that happened, literally, y'all backed me up. I'm so like thankful for what Hello Ghosty, just that whole thing has given me. Um, I don't think I could do this without the help of other people and having that like support that I know. Oh, crap, I missed the hair. <laughs> Like, I have a hard time thinking people care about me. Yeah, a really hard time. And this just feels put it in stone that. I still have a hard time with that. Out for me. I have people out there. I have chosen a soul fam. I truly you don't. believe. You did it. You just had Arizona, your family on the other side, the Arizona friends. person. I believe that I stabbed you. Like, absolutely perfect. They do YouTube too. So it's like I'm going to be loving when people where we can just do this like together and like be supportive of Yeah, now you're on. We can figure out what makeup brush I'm going to be using. The, the um, outcome and the so things I want to look very different than where we're at now. Because there are some things I just need to like restock up on and replace. There's a lot of that going on. But with my GoFundMe, how well it's doing, I'm going to be able to use that to literally replace everything I need. So I'm just going to do... Convince yourself that, but it was just something simple. Cause nobody cared. Red right now, it's such a powerful color for me, and it's just color magic. Red is a powerful color, and I need to feel powerful right now. Okay, so I love how I took this into like a spiritual oh, yeah, turn. Blair, so love so her. I my eyes. I actually can't see very well. Keeping us hopeful as always. But I wanted to feel just a little bit better about myself, and makeup definitely does that for me. So what I do have packed, but well, I don't I had have a bruise right here I too. Made sure that we have my tripod, which is what I'm using right now, my camera, my YouTube backdrop. So we have kind of just a start setup for the YouTube channel because y'all know I'm going to be continuing this. It's who I am. Carrying up a little bit. What I was meant to do. Yes, you are meant to so do YouTube, happens, honey. Yes. And this is just going to grow so much in myself and just everything. And then I'm going to like take this red and I'm just going to drag it under my eyes as well. Oh, well, this was a good idea. I already feel better just like seeing makeup on myself. But yeah, I have my YouTube backdrop, my YouTube stuff. I have a few outfits to start out with to re-grow um, my wardrobe over time. You're regrowing your wardrobe just fine, don't I'm worry. I'm definitely going to be like on that journey. I do plan when I get there to do like a video on I love that some of the things I am talking about this, I am making happen for myself now, like regrowing my life. Um, we've gotten more into fashion and we had a really extreme glow up in the past year with our style, so that did come to fruition. This is my starter wardrobe to get myself just like in the YouTube mood and like have fun putting together outfits so I'm not as sad about it because yeah, I've had to leave a lot behind. It's so weird that we're talking about leaving right in front of the apartment of the place that I've been for all this time. Oh, I love this. And so now so I'm random sometimes. Like Still my favorite. Oh, I use it today. <laughs> I'm gonna have to like get closer. Okay. And my next door neighbors that I had been friends with prior to this that didn't I don't even know what their problem was. They had I tried to go away with my ex that kind of backed out because when you're in a relationship like that it is really scary. And because I didn't do it on their time, they kind of dropped me they knew i was out here the whole time and i actually knocked on their door at one point 
and they said, I said, can you help me? Can I charge my phone at your place, please? Yeah, or something. Like Wham, right through the door. For a while now, like I knew I was going to leave this relationship, but I didn't know when it was going to happen. I've been planning, like, trying to figure out where I'm going to go and just. I had tried multiple what times that, that year. Like since July. <laughs> I'm trying to and think the way out of I'm there. I've been having to like play pretend, uh, just mask really hardcore and just get through this. And then, uh, yes, not yesterday, the night, the night before it was yesterday, he finally like found out and it just, I didn't think it was going to happen that fast. But what's ironic about that, <laughs> I kept doing tarot readings, right? And I kept pulling the tower card, but it was reversed. And right beside the power, uh, the tower card was his card, which is the Knight of Wands reversed. And I was like, oh, something could go down recently, soon. But I didn't like think. It was I used to like, be so much more into like, my tarot cards. I actually recently started getting back into pulling cards daily and trying to get back into that. But yeah, it fell, and it fell fast. But uh, I'm thankful that it fell earlier because it kind of like pushed me, and this has been such like a self-growth thing. So that's God, my face was looking rough, really good job. but I was going through it. I was trying to make the most out of a bad situation, but oh my God. But yeah, I'm gonna be moving into the side of the states uh, that I've always wanted to live. Yep, and now you're right back where you started, bitch. To California if I wanted to, which is gonna happen. As I said, I'm going to freaking Disneyland. Uh, and I have literally... <laughs> this is one of the most delusional things I was thinking in that time of year. I thought I was going to Disneyland with a bunch of celebrities. It was a thing. It was a thing that was in my brain. So if I keep bringing up Disneyland... <laughs> Um, it's not funny, it's it's concerning, but at the same time, it's like, I hear it and I'm just like, God, your brain was somewhere else. But at the same time, I was making, it's also powerful because I was making the most out of a really, really bad situation. And that's kind of still what I do to this day. Almost all of my online friends are also on that side of the country. So like, for somebody that's never had like, real life friends, I'm about to be like flooded <laughs> in like friendships. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. I would love to be flooded in friendships. I don't really have that right now. I have all online friends. Um, I get to go see my boyfriend soon. Yay! Chance at new love. There's gonna be a, a chatty get ready with me about that on Monday uh, before I go on my trip. Go see next shot at love. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I wish I was flooded with friends. It's just like the way this is coming together, even though it's stressful right now. It's just what I have waiting for me. Oh, when I get there, it's gonna be like so magical and just, I'm gonna be like so happy. <laughs> but way to be positive. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna pick out the color of the blush. Zinc. I'm just gonna go with that red, but I'm not gonna do it very. Uh, I love how we have a we whole have get ready with me portion. <laughs> I just said the hell with the eyebrows. Making the most of a, a really bad, bad situation. Because he could have came home at any time. He was in the mental hospital. But there's the makeup look. It's cute. I feel a lot better about myself now. I got some makeup on my face. And uh, now we're just going to have to figure out what we're going to do with the rest of our day. Water for throughout the day. So the gift bringer, the little kid, gave me 
something that I did now. Okay, so funny part about this vlog, I actually still have this and I really need to talk more in depth on this. I gotta get it! It did break, but I still have the seashell. Um, this part of the vlog, I felt like I was meeting my younger self and I saw this little girl around the neighborhood several times when I was living there and she'd always come up to me and say the sweetest, most surreal things where I felt like I was looking in a weird mirror of younger me and when I was stuck outside that apartment, she kept coming up and giving me gifts, so I will forever cherish this. If I lost this, I would be really sad. It broke during all of this happening, but this means a lot to me. Moment of like me leaving. I like wholesome, wholesomeness, the wholesomeness of that. Literally three times now. <laughs> they gave me a seashell, but look, they drew little hearts on it. They're different. And she kept giving me candy and stuff. It was, and I was actually getting hungry. It, so was, it actually helped me survive. <laughs> Decided to do a reading while I was sitting here on a And I just recently like repurchased this deck like, because like I really needed it back. Just getting signs everywhere. And I pulled this card and it says Starseer. Look at this freaking art, y'all. It's this like really pretty big. But there's this ladder, but there's a person climbing the ladder, and it's like to the star. And let me read y'all this. This is so like in align with like where I'm headed, just everything that's going on right now. It says, listen to your intuition. Trust a holistic journey. Dreams find their way to being. The bigger picture, a more aligned outcome than expected. Clarity of the greater path. Have you ever headed toward a specific destination, but instead of it being where you ended up, the journey was the catalyst of getting you where you were meant to go? So like, yesterday I was stranded at the airport, <laughs> and then I was homeless, and then to a hotel, and now I'm just like, stuck outside. So I feel like that really kind of relates to where I am at today, to we are in a situation where we are really isolated. We don't really have a lot of people of our life we get to see on a daily basis. Um, the relationship with our family is still so strained. No matter what we do, it just will never be anything of what we need it to be. And it won't be the same anymore either. Uh, but this situation has forced me to go inward and forced me to start sharing all the things that I've always wanted to about my life story, um, my love for fashion, um, just really giving my inner child the life that they've always wanted. Um, it's been starting with at home only because we can't really have a very eventful life, but it is leading me to a greater outcome than I could have ever imagined. I really feel like that in my soul. So this has been just like the chaos of lately, but the further I read this, it's just making me feel so much better. Have, have you ever felt the universe was conspiring against you? Yesterday I definitely did, and nothing seemed to be working out as planned. Then everything came together in a way so perfect. This card is about the journey and not going as planned, but the outcome of being better than you thought possible. This is like exactly everything that I needed to hear after this like breakup and just how chaotic was was. I will open up more about like what happened the day of later because I'm too scared to talk about open it. Open up right about now. it now. But it says when you slowly we never did on that channel, and intentions, think. internal or external shifts may need to occur before we start to see results. Outdated doors may need to close. Ideas that are holding you back may need to transform and life winding what winding road. Sorry, I'm getting emotional because it's literally like what I need to hear right now. 
Life's winding roads may seem make it seem as if though you are off the path. Decide your, how right your decisions may feel. The breakup. Trust and know that your higher self may have bigger plans for you. There might be a sum of adventures on the way. The road you take depends Careful, on how many adventures you are, this year. Which Last year's adventures. Woo! Let me not even get tried, me started. I feel, I tried, I feel. You're ready. <laughs> Like, ah, this, like, this card. <laughs> Y'all, this is so funny to me, but it's, like, not funny at the same time. I am literally, I've been stuck outside literally now. I hit my point of, like, I'm so happy, happy but, but, like, I'm morning. outside. <laughs> I'm sitting here, and I had my first, like, spiritual awakening back in April of last year when, before I deleted my old channel, I had talked about my backstory a little bit, and I was, like, really self-acceptance. But <laughs> I'm literally everything like right now for me is coming full circle and I'm literally here with the biggest goofiest fucking smile on my face <laughs> because I broke up with him I feel so much better and I'm stuck outside literally <laughs> I'm literally been having to sleep outside and I'm feeling better it's hitting me in my feels because um I realized that I'm doing everything that I just said I had talked about talking about my story. We've started to do it again. Um, I'm sharing how much happier I've been being away from him. I'm sharing my special interest again. Like, you made it. We Not all the way, but you made it to a point where you could do all that. Ghosty, you got your old place. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was so the summer. Got me on this one. We're literally almost there. Almost. <laughs> oh, my little friend is back. Hey, what do you got for me this time? <laughs> What's oh, this? Things start turning south. Well, Spooky Ghost fam, I have proved to ourselves that we can survive anything. Uh, <laughs> definitely. We were so done. <laughs> so I basically camped out here all night. Wow, this is after we unpacked my suitcase. We, and used all it was such a surreal pack. thing because we had gotten so weak from being out there in the cold because it got really cold because there was a storm coming. And it got to the point where we were so weak from lack of food and just lack of any like hydration and just not being able to go to the bathroom anywhere. It was bad that we literally just zoned out and blinked and it was morning, <laughs> sunrise, but we didn't feel like we slept at all. Packed as a shelter covering because it got cold, like real bad. It got cold. And it got frustrated, and yeah, it got cold. <laughs> I was freezing all night, barely slept, took some power nap, shut my eyes, kept waking up, and it was later and later, and I was like, yes, please be morning. And then I suddenly woke up this morning, and it was bright outside, and I was like, I made it. I opened my eyes, and I was like, I made it. And then I went up to the gas station first thing in the morning. I went up there, I got me some hot cocoa, Warm me up because I had some, I still had some fun, still do, for just a little food here and there until his mom shows up with the key. But it's kind of ridiculous that 
Ridiculous to his parents, even though their house was nasty. They didn't even like be like, hey, literally local. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, ye